I was amazed, absolutely amazed. I mean, I was thrilled when I got the part because I had not heard of these women before, and we only had about two weeks before we shot it to do what little research we could, so it was amazing to see A, kind of the history of where these all three women ca came from, but also what the other two actresses did because we never got to be in the same room. So that was kind of neat to see how talented the other two ladies were as well. The, the interesting thing about Mar Martha Gellhorn, I thought, was, was just that the sh sheer courage that this woman had. She just would never give up. You know, the fact that she actually beat Hemingway to Normandy is pretty amazing and that she just continued to follow her passion all the way to the end. It is sort of sad. I heard that she'd actually she died in London and she had committed suicide. So I don't know, and a lot of the studies I did is that after she did go to Dachau, she was never the same again. She said she just felt like innocence was lost. Her, her um, sort of thrill in the world was gone. And she was also, you know, a bit of, a, I want to say a partier, but they said she was very social and had many friends and many lovers and that sort of thing. And after World War II, it was just never quite the same. Her sort of joie de vivre had gone away. One's never happy entirely with one's performance, and especially only having a couple weeks to prepare for a woman whose life was so amazing. I, there's no way that I could do it justice. But I think it was a really interesting concept for Michelle to find a way to breathe life into these, uh, into these women because there was very little moving footage of them. It was a great challenge. I'd love to do it again with more time to prepare. <laughs> And I hope that she does get to do other series, you know, and report a little bit more on, on what these women experienced because they were all three of them changed forever. Oh, it's incredibly important, especially in this day and age where there's so much changing around the world and there's a lot of young women these days who forget how difficult their mothers or grandmothers had it. And I think it's incredible right now to to teach women that you, you can be strong and be in the workplace as a man and be very equal, but that doesn't mean that you're any less of a woman. It just means that you tap into that feminine strength, which can be more powerful sometimes. <laughs>